This dive site is going to be one of my favorite dives I have ever dove. The USS Spiegel Grove. The USS Spiegel Grove was a U.S. landing ship dock commissioned in 1956 and decommissioned in 1989. The date it was sunk was June 10th of 2002. It was placed in a maximum depth of 130 feet with a minimum depth of approximately 45 feet. The ship's length is 510 feet long the ship's height is 84 feet tall. The tonnage is 6,880 pounds. It was named after the Ohio estate of U.S. President Rutherford B. Hayes. The ship spent 12 years tethered in the Navy's mothball fleet in Virginia's James River. In June 2001, it was towed to undergo an elaborate cleaning process and 11 months later was relocated off Key Largo. On May 17, 2002, the Spiegel Grove unexpectedly sank and rolled over about six hours before its intended scuttling. Because of an exponential safety plan, there were no injuries. Resolve, Marine Group finished scuttling the ship on its side June 10th, 2002. That's where it stayed until Hurricane Dennis waves helped to finish the job correctly. One thing has not changed about the Spiegel Grove in its new position. The ship is enormous and much larger than any natural reef structure in the Keys. In fact, at any time of its sinking, the Spiegel Grove was the largest ship ever intentionally sunk to create a new reef for divers, and it remains one of the largest ships ever scuttled for that purpose. Almost immediately after the sinking, the ship began to attract marine life from large groupers to schools of shimmering smaller fish and colorful tropical fish Marine scientists expected natural corals to eventually envelop the Spiegel Grove. Diver Bob Snyder was the first person to view the wreck on the Spiegel Grove after Hurricane Dennis skirted the Keys in July 2005. Three years earlier, the in Key Largo community had radio or rallied to sink the 510 foot retired Navy ship as the backbone of a new reef ecosystem six miles offshore. When Snyder got close enough to see the ship, he couldn't believe his eyes. The storm had turned the 510 foot ship upright from its previous position on its starboard side in 130 feet of water. Here's our dive on the USS Spiegel Grove. <laughs> 